Okay, Tony Scaponi here, and what you see in front of you is Ruby Storm. We are just going to play stock classic mono red Ruby Storm. I'd say maybe one of the only things to note is I have gone down to a third ley line so that I can make room for two blossoms still, despite, and this is the major change really, still despite going up to three fiery confluence mostly so that we can bring multiples of these into our main deck uh, when we're playing against the initiative. It's just a very good card against against them, and um, I'm not willing to go down to one blast zone for Deafening Silence because we're so cold to that card otherwise, um, and I am willing to go down a third to a third ley line, and the rest is just, to me, very difficult to take out of the board. So other than that, we have pretty much... Uh, the stock list here. I mean, there's some things that you could change. Uh, if you really want to go with four Bergy, you can, but I don't think this deck leverages Bergy quite like the Epic Gamble does, and it's a bit costly. So three has f felt just fine. Um, I do like having a Past in Flames, however, it is the most commonly cut card simply because people bring in Graveyard Hate um, often enough. Uh, whether it be incidental or just like surgicals and stuff like that. It's just an easy card to cut, but I do like it in the main deck for game one. Uh, but you could run another Tinkering. You could not run these cards and just, you know, run another Bergy and maybe another Ritual, whatever you want to do. There's some things that you could do, right? But for the most part, this is, uh, I'd say, is easy stock list for me. So we are going to jump into a league. I will see you in match number one. Okay, here we are in round one. We have won the die roll. Ugh, won the die roll. We are playing against the Great Ape. We will keep this hand. I'm sorry, we lost the die roll. And this is definitely an explosive hand. We didn't necessarily want to see a blue deck, however, um, being on the draw. If it weren't a blue deck, that probably would also still mean trouble for us. Printing Wish was a great draw. Hmm. I wonder what we can get away with if we play these out, make four with Rite of Flame, total of five with Petal, we play Ruby, we go to three. If they force that, just as Will could only make four, and we wouldn't be able to relay. If they let Ruby go, we have three. Can't really follow it up with bonus round. They let Ruby go, we just as well, they're going to counter that, and it's not going to look good. I think we're supposed to pedal, see if we can just get Ruby in. If it doesn't resolve, we can go from there. We also could have Burning Wished for a Rite of Flame. I think all of our other lines are pretty all in. That was worst case scenario. Um, they played a naked basic island. So more often than not, you're not going to have to worry about days in that case. Followed up by, so it looks like it's like the Bogles deck. It was a great draw. Still got to play it patient, though. This is going to be a difficult deck to beat. It's not always easy to play around soft counter magic, especially with an Esper Sentinel squeezing harder. This is essentially a tempo deck, which is one of the weaknesses of Ruby Storm. Yeah, we are certainly not drawing out of it. Really just want to hit some land drops. So they're not threatening us too much here, but if we start casting spells, they're going to start drawing cards. They're just going to counter stuff. It's just going to give them free cards. That's a wasteland. Oh, geez. We might have to go for it. They only have three cards in hand. They're going to get two draws if they don't have days. Like, they might just not have permission. I don't think we're supposed to wait anymore. Oh, they let one go. Wow. Okay, so we we have options here. We can assume they have nothing. In which case, the most efficient way to go about this is bonus round into Rite of Flame. If they have even a daze, they can just counter Rite of Flame, if they know how to do it correctly. Um, if they panic, they might counter bonus round itself. In which case, depending on how they counter it, we can go off in various ways. The safer way is the Rite of Flame up to 7. Then bonus round down to 4. Burning Wish puts us to 2. That's risky as well. I think I like going up a little bit more on mana here, seeing if they will allow us. They did. Still risky to bonus round here. If we bonus round, 
When they let it resolve, we write a flame. They can counter both write a flames. Then we only have two mana left. We can't do anything. If we write a flame first, we can go up to nine, six, and then we have multiple threats. My read is they have nothing, but even the safe route is pretty much guaranteed victory. Nine, six, they counter will. Then we can burning wish we have one. We can cast the last right flame. Yeah. Now we bonus around. Go for cards here. I mean, they could just let this go and then they we whiff. But yeah, they they had nothing. All right. <laughs> Game two. Ah, uh, let's see here. Blast zone seems good. Awkwardly, kills their sentinels, delvers, uh, one of their equipments. That curiosity equivalent, whatever it is. Fine with taking up past in flames and tankering, just the bigger spells. Fiery Conf Confluence might just be too well. Obviously, not good against True Name. For adding Blast Zones so that we can add land drops. I think I like just that change. Just get rid of these two big clunky spells and add some more land drops. Um, if the play pattern is them playing a one mana threat, and then even if we have lands, they can just like waste us a bunch. That happens sometimes. Of course, we have the mull. So this hand might just be too slow, but we have to keep it. Quite possible this hand is just really good against them. Turn one brainstorm. They probably have bobble. If they don't, they'd rather brainstorm on their own turn so that they don't give us a uh, storm. So it's actually kind of smart. Just get our land drops in. Bonus round is fine. Really, I think I'm interested in just more lands and ruby medallions. Okay. Wonder. Did not shuffle. There we go. There's, there's a ruby. Take our time here, though. We have attacks to pay, and then, of course, they could have dazes. Blast Zone's pretty good against that. They do get to draw a card. We do lose a land when we use it. And we don't yet even have the mana to use it. But it's not bad. Ooh, that will die too. Interesting. We're going to draw two cards next turn. Could just try to break through. Could be the same thing as last time. They just don't have anything at the moment. They have the days. Now they're going to draw cards like crazy. They're always going to be drawing off of this because it's equal to what the creature's power is yeah now they're gonna run away with this game basically we gotta hope they draw dead and we can resolve some mana honestly even if we draw land we can at least blow this shit up no wasteland is good is it your name stony silence that doesn't matter it's a good one <laughs> pretty good one nice esper sentinel bruh would be a shame if someone blew it up. Bang. Now they only have five cards in hand. They're kind of flooding. Slowly silence doesn't matter. We don't want to drop pedal, but ooh. We might be in business here. Let's just try to get one of these in. You know, force it. Force pitching force. Do we walk into days? I don't think we do. They have no threats on board. I think we're actually currently ahead. Considering the position we were in. That's insane. Land number five. They're definitely flooding. Could have a force. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have played a land. Okay, so they do just have another force. That's fine. These are draw threes. When you have this much mana on board and you have a land drop available, you can usually get like at least two cards worth. Let's try one. Oh yeah. They're gonna counter, they're gonna Days this right of flame. Interesting. I will pay. They only have two cards left. If we right of flame, so we have three. Right of flame puts us to five. Ruby to three. Should just play Ruby. So we can go to five, three, one. Doesn't work. So yeah, we just play Ruby. Good right of flame will there, but it's risky. That's fine. It's a good draw. All right, I will happily pay the tax. If they don't have a force here, they're done for. And they do not. Goodbye. 
That's a draw six. <laughs> Goodbye, OP. You can play Bergy. Play Pebble. Play another Ruby. Play Metamorphose. B -b -b bonus. You can just make red. Ooh, play another bonus round. And a Reckless Impulse. Four, eight. Ding, ding, ding. I'm like losing my voice over here. And we will wish. And they've had enough. GG. All right, we're 1 0. See you in round two. All right, here we are in round two. We're undefeated. We won the die roll. We're playing against Momo321. This hand is acceptable. In my experience, this opponent does all sorts of. Um, Nonsense, really. <laughs> like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, mono red sneak nonsense, um, with like main deck, um, Fable the Mirror Breaker, uh, mono red burn nonsense with like, I like acceleration and stuff. I don't know. Crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy, like prison ish. Uh, combo shenanigans. I like it. So we'll see what we're in for here. I think I've also seen them play like Riddle Storm decks too. Maybe I'm wrong there. Wow. It's the mirror. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, let's see if we can get away with a full blast Jessica's will. It's a force of will. Pitching omniscience. Okay. So they are up to no good as expected. We have an inspired tinkering next turn. Hopefully they don't have a daze. Hmm. I think I'm going to metamorphose first. Whoa. That was a really good one. It's pretty bad if it doesn't resolve, but I get the feeling it will. It did. It's tinkering. I really get the feeling they don't have a force. They're just reading. Don't worry. It resolves. Yeah. Can we even get away with the Jessica's will? This might be too greedy. This would ensure they have nothing, right? Because the the relay is face up. If you were really looking to win here, you probably just want to cast this relay. Oh my god, they were sandbagging a forest that whole time? Pitching intuition. I mean, if they don't kill us, we're way ahead. We just have so much men on board. We're getting this mountain. We're going to be able to rimpulse and then double relay. But they might just sneak attack here. Nope. They are representing force of will, but that's not going to be good enough here. Just not good enough. Oh, yeah, that's a ritual. Rimpulse. I'm going to ruby out of it. Relay for four into relay for five. So as long as we're not dead, which we very well could be, they are dead. I still cannot believe they let Inspired Tinkering resolve. Two, four, six. We have seven mana on board plus a land that's... Probably more so going to be used as a draw. And a cost reducer on board. Bunch of gas coming up. They have two cards. They can't actually sneak activate. The best thing they can have here is show and tell plus Grizzlebrand. Which we probably beat. Ottawa on Ruby. Okay. <laughs> um, fine. They have one card left. Could be Fluster, but that doesn't really matter. There you go, bonus round. Go Metamorphose. Game is over. Bonus round. Rimpulse. I guess we don't want to get bolted. <laughs> Not going to happen. But I won't put myself to six if I can help it. Right? If it's free to play around, why not? Infinite mana. And then we'll just kill him. And since we have another Burning Wish here, I'm going to get a Lethal Spell, and then I'm going to Decline. I mean, technically, you don't want to show them cards if you don't have to, but really, it's, I'm just trying to save time. Bang. 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 Alright, on to game two. We continue undefeated. Let's see. Sideboarding. Um... I don't think I want to change anything. Like, they could. They might bring in Surgical, but 
I think I'm fine with these two cards. Tinkering won us that game. Okay, this hand is risky. If we draw into lands, it's very good. Or it can be very good. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. They mulliganed. Oh, turn one show and tell. Days undoing? Interesting. Okay. I told you they do wild shit. I told you. Right, Google Mountain Pass. They undid their mulligan and added a city of traders. Now, come show and tell. Hull Breacher, okay. Um, we don't care about that. If they don't have force, we are good. We know they don't have days. This one good? It is. This one good? It is. Whoa. So we go bonus round, go to five. Ritual go to three. If they then counter, if they count as bonus round, we're fine. Either way, yeah, we're fine. We are just fine. Okay, how about this one? I feel like they have nothing. Wow. It's resolving. How about this one? <laughs> Holy crap. Let's get tinkering. And let's get Rite of Flame. Let's cast Seething Song. Let's cast Tingering. It actually nets us one mana and draws six. Keep in mind, Hull Breacher just not mattering. Nice Hull Breacher. I guess I'll kill it. Only have to hit it for one because we can target it twice. Goodbye, Hull Breacher. I get to Manamorphose. Manamorphose. Oh, there it is. Burning Wish. It's funny that we just have several fiery confluence to get. Hmm, <laughs> let's just do it. Let's just get a bunch of them. Four te lulls. <laughs> 2040. On to round three. Okay, here we are in round three. We are undefeated. We have won the die roll. We're playing against Dark Quarterer. And I think last match was a good example of how we can just dodge the vast majority of hate out there. There was a whole breacher in play, and we just didn't care. Like, we didn't have to kill it at the end there, but we did. Uh, we have no red source. We have to mull this. This hand is good. This hand is quite good. I'm just going to bottom smashing. Opponent also mulliganed. Kept on six. And we're going to go tomb, ruby, pass. The classic ruby opener. Bobble. Bobble us. Looks like Delver. Not our strong suit, but this is a good start. No turn one threat. We didn't get wastelanded. They had to shock themselves, not for nothing. They had to mulligan with us. And we have a pretty good hand. This is one of our weaker matchups, but this is a good start. That's pretty good. I'm going to play this other ruby. If it resolves, great. If it doesn't, they go back a land. It's kind of like a duress that also makes them pick their land up. Or with both of these in play, we just get to ignore days, even if they waste us. So we're in a good spot here. If they have force and this whiffs, we could be in trouble. But they might waste us and then try to force our seething song, which would have us pretty far ahead. Okay, they have five cards in hand. Let's play song. I don't think they should be forcing this, but may, they may very well. It would be very good for us if they did. It can be Storm 2, Rite of Flame is 3, Burning Wish is 4, Relay is 5. Oh, they let it go. Really need this to hit action. I haven't made my land drop because if we hit Fiery Islet, we might want to use it. Oh boy, did we hit action. Let's go Burning Wish. Force of Negation. Okay, um, Burning Wish. <laughs> Try to win right now with Inspired Tinkering. He costs three. It's mana neutral. I think I like that, actually. He could just relay, piff, relay. Could get more mana so that we can piff. They might be sandbagging another Force of Negation. I doubt it, though. But I like Tinkering. You don't want to get hit by Double Days. I guess I'll write a flame first. Keep in mind we have access to Piff next turn. Wow, it just resolved though. 
So these can be effectively dark rituals. They're also just ancestrals. Yeah, we have won the game. It's bonus round. <laughs> Got on. Game two it is. We remain undefeated. Okay, I'd like to bring in the Blast Zone and take out the big clunky spells. We want more land drops, and they can incidentally kill their one drops, but that's not the primary reason. Just want land drops. This is fine. Just gotta be patient. Basic Island Pass. Interesting. I'm fine with that. Ooh, that's a good draw. They might even shuffle away a Wasteland. Which, either way, it's fine for us. It can... Uh, this whole game can get dicey, right? If they... If we, like, have these lands and we say, oh, we don't care about Wasteland. Well, we do if they drop a Delver. And then every turn they waste us and hit us with Delver. But let's throw this one out there. They just can't resist. They can't even wait till their own turn. And then they're going to shuffle with a Surgical. That's how bad their Brainstorm was. That's awesome. It is a move you can do. Target your own graveyard. You don't have to get rid of it. And then it gives you a free shuffle. That's good news for us, though. That's a good draw. Let's play this one. This has been a very favorable situation for us. They've yet to play a threat. They went down a card by surgicaling. They clearly didn't have a good brainstorm. They've now missed the land drop. So now we just want to keep drawing lands. You could play Rimpulse here. The problem is if you hit two lands, it's really bad. Plus if it lets them use like a spell pierce that they're sitting on, they might miss more land drops. They're just firing off bolts. <laughs> it's very good for us. If I were them, I would have held on to that in case we draw brainstorm. Because that card is probably not going to help them. They might be trying to work towards a... Well, they could have cast Murktide there. So I guess they don't have a Murktide. More lands, I like it. Another Bolt. Pretty much have to waste Blast Zone. Which is fine. Keep it going. Land pass. Alright, here comes Murktide. So it's basically this turn and next turn. That was a good draw. So, can be problematic if they counter this. They did. They have three cards left. Think we're supposed to try to go for it. They have a, another force. Have we lose the bolt? They only have one card left. We can use one of our ancient tombs next turn. Okay, they didn't do any Murktide shenanigans. Pondering. Pass. Ruby was good. Okay. So we play the ruby. Days. Okay. I will pay. Last two cards are double days. Are you kidding me? Um, they got us. Wow, the rest of their hand, they had triple days, double force. This was before, like before Ponder, they were just, yikes. Suppose we could have gone one turn earlier. Or... Could have not tried on the second Seething Song. Tried to go all at once on that turn. That would have been the same thing. Or would have played around these days. I don't know. Okay. Game three we go. Oh, this hand is risky as shit. We desperately need lands. Although against Delver, you really can't... Basically can't mulligan. I'm, I'm gonna risk it. It's so bad, but this matchup is just so bad. Battery's running low. Oh, hold this. Okay, here we go. Like, this hand has problems. <laughs> we have this mountain, but obviously we have no other land drops. We don't have a ruby. Don't have petals, right of flames. Yeah, we missed. Point of brainstorms. Surveil wasteland. Whoops. Just got that wasteland ready. Come on, mountain. Well, took a chance and missed. I mean, that's probably correct, a mulligan here, but I just, it's so, I'm not sure I've ever won a game against Delver with this deck on a mulligan. It's just so impossible to do. I'd rather just take the high risk play. 
Okay, now they have Delirium, two of them on board, still five cards in hand. Wasteland just waiting for us. And we can draw land. We can pick this one up. Alright, that one could be on me, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm not sure I've ever won when I'm mulligan against them. So, on to round three. Alright, here we are in round four against Pi Gonti, and we have won the die roll. We will take the play, and this is... Mm, an acceptable hand. Two chancellors. Whoa. Um guess I'll play mountain and pass. They also go land pass. I like that. We can play all three of these reckless impulses. So let's throw this in the trash. Go city song. Rimpulse. Not the worst. Rimpulse. Um, yeah, I guess we go right of flame rimples. Okay. It's basically a do-it-yourself relay. We scooped Archon of Amiria. Whoa. Nothing? Holy crap. Um, let's go... Ruby. Ancient Tomb. Let's make some mana. Play Bergy. Morphos. Of Solitude. I should play Burning Wish first, then you can Morphos in response to Solitude. I was pretty much expecting this, but did do that in the incorrect order. But it's fine. Relay. Um, go Burning Wish, Past in Flames, and they scooped. <laughs> Alright, game two. Blast Zone, Fiery Confluence. So we leave one. Bring in the grape shot. Good against Thalia, although we hardly see Thalia. So maybe we don't want grape shot. Take out Piff. Take out Wish. Got a couple of relays. Wonder if I just want all of these in the main deck. I mean, burning wishing for one is not out of the realm of possibility, though. I've done it plenty of times. Tinkering's a great card to work towards. It's a way to dig while still advancing on your board. But I like having it in the board. So let's just keep it like this. Okay. This is fine. That's fine. The card doesn't matter. Chancer doesn't really matter. Let's... I don't want to play Blast Zone. But I want to pay for this pedal. Don't want to take two. Definitely don't want to take three. Although we're going to want to take... We're going to have to take three at some point. Because next turn we might actually just go Ruby, Metamorphose, Burning Wish. Guess we can just do that anyways, but just take three now. So we're going to wind up taking three anyways using it. What is this? It's just, okay. It's fine. It is Archon. So... Yeah, I want to get the Ruby out there. The next time we can play Blast Zone, we can cast Burning Wish to get... Um, oops. Burning Wish to get something. Like, if they play more hate, we're going to need more than Blast Zone. In Blast Zone, we have to tick up a bunch. Whereas we could just go and get Confluence. Yeah, let's go get Confluence. I just want to get something that will actually win the game, though. Just worried about them playing an initiative creature and then trying to Blast Zone this being way too slow. We can end step this Metamorphose if we want. See? Do we want a Manamorphose? I don't think so. Alright, so Archon's down. They have another one. We lose. It tells me they probably don't have one, but they're trying to scry for one. Dungeoneer. Left it on top. Elite Spellbinder. It's fine. Do have to draw action, though. That is definitely action. So let's go... Horn... Activate. And remember, this Manamorphose costs three. But it does draw us a card, which draws us two more with Horn. Stitch Ancient Tomb. It's another Ruby. Let's get rid of this song. Okay, okay. Um, so we can go Mountain Petal, Manamorphose. We get two mana. Right, this costs three. So we go Petal. Metamorphose. It's possible we should have done this before we got rid of that seething song. Gotta hit some mana here. Oh, 
Okay. Doesn't really work. Storm is three. We have to reckless impulse. Hoping to hit right of flame or metamorphose. Petal keeps us going. We hit metamorphose into seething song, so we are good. We won the game. To tinkering, yes please. Let's go song. Play another ruby. Tinkering gets us three cards. Hmm. Guess these are draw threes now. It's getting dicey. Need to hit. We really need to hit here. Oh no. We have to hit like pedal plus man off of this reckless impulse. We're at seven, so yeah, we are dead. I spoke too soon. We hit right of flame, but no pedal. We got nothing. Maybe it was too greedy to cast that inspired tinkering. Or maybe it's too greedy to cast the second ruby. No, I don't think that was the case. All right, on to the next game. Game three it is. Well, let's run it back. For what it's worth, I do think we're favored in this matchup. I don't think I sequenced that perfectly. Yeah, I think the ruby was fine because it reduced Jessica's will and inspired tinkering. But I don't know. All right. This hand is pretty good. It's completely capable of turn one -ing. Not with a Chancellor, of course. And a Gemstone Caverns. It's a pretty wild list. We could throw this in the garbage and play Ruby. And I think I will. They could have a turn one Archon of Emeria, but I feel like they won't. They did. Hmm. So we need to get red sources in play. Guess it's worth playing this. I mean, unstep the Morphos. Need to find Burning Wish or Fiery Confluence. Jeez. There's Confluence. So now we need to find a red source. Hopefully we just draw it. Mountain would be our best draw. Hey, just as we drew it up. Um... Yeah, we just have to do it now. Whoops. Gotta do it now. Hope they don't have another Archon. And then hope this Jessica's Will takes us home. Went into the Lost Well, and they didn't immediately go ahead and slam an Archon, so I gotta imagine they don't have one. They don't have one. They don't... Oh. Dungeoneer. Don't have one. Don't. White Plume, that's fine. Oh, they're going to go into the stash. Uh-oh. They're passing. Okay, so we are pretty much dead next turn. Come on, baby. This is a draw three. Two rubies in play. Pretty decent chance we get there. All right. Okay, okay, okay. So, Fairy Macabre would hurt, but they should not be bringing in Fairy Macabre. If we Rimpulse and miss, we're in trouble. Good tinkering. Rimples and miss. Yeah, then we're in big trouble. Tinkering draws us three more. Piff only does so much. We don't have really any rituals, so... They are f 6 Yep, so we got a tinkering. Play Matten. Tinkering. Three more. Three more red sources. Okay. So you don't want to go Bergy here, because then your only action is a single Reckless Impulse. We want to go Song into Horn. We can convert these into more cards. Nice. Might as well look at two more before I do anything. And that is why. Because now we want to go Bonus Round. Morphos. Draw. Draw. Get more cards. Play Berg. Play Morphos. At this point, it's basically deterministic. Okay, they've had enough. We are three and one. We're playing for the four and one. See you in the final round. All right, here we are in the final round. We're playing against Kai Fly. Uh, we've lost the die roll, and we are going to keep this hand. It's reasonable. It has access to basics. It can potentially go fast if it wants to. Ornithopter. Okay. All right, probably ninjas. Definitely ninjas. <laughs> A thousand fish. Uh, 
Yeah, if it's a dragon creature token, it's copy of another dragon creature token with an attached and attacking. Interesting. So do we have a good go for it option here? I don't think we do. It'd be two, three, four. We can't bonus round into we get metamorphose, see where it goes, but I think it's better. Better to just wait here. They do play force of will and they occasionally play D's in some number, but generally speaking, they don't they tend to not have a significant amount of disruption. Yeah, they got the little ninja. Basically playing popper here. Okay. Not a bad draw. How deep do we want to go? Do we want to go for broke? Let's see if we can bait out a daze. Nope. How about now? It's so juicy. Okay. I'm going to force it. I'm fine with that. Do they have another ninja? They don't. So they do get to loot, but they're not going to go up any cards. Getting rid of Chrome Mox. Brainstorm. Oh, wow. They're going to go down to one card. I like that. Ooh, I also like that. So if we go right of flame, Ruby, then we can metamorphose up to two. Rim pulls. At that point, we probably found enough mana to relay. So either that or Ruby pass. I'm no coward. Could also like Rim pulls pass. Again, not a coward. It is awkward if they have a daze. Daze are meant. We're going to daze this. Deal. Deal. Get to keep my metamorphose. I guess they get to loot away their land. It's cute. And play a flooded strand. Okay. Nice. Do we play into the next daze? Not a coward. Did you draw another daze? No. Looks like you lost. Looks like you've lost the game. Ooh. Oopsie. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> oh god, this deck is just hilarious. The punishment is just so severe. So severe. Do do do. Make some red, make some red. Let's get horny. Convert. Convert. Play Ruby. Alright, they've had enough. <laughs> okay, so ninjas. I guess Blast Zone is very good against their threats. Most of them are one drops. Or not most, but so many of them. We saw three different one drops. I don't know if that means there's 12. There's also Ornithopters. Hmm. Confluence seems outrageously good as well, but these are just like awkward, fair considerations that I'm not sure I'm necessarily digging. They are playing bees, so we can get rid of bees. Probably. I feel like this maybe trim on a bonus round and maybe just come down one land since we're going up two. I like this. Okay, here we are. Um, I don't think we can keep this. It's probably just good enough. It's not spectacular, but it's fine. If we find another red source, this could be good. I think, well, I'm just trying to think if we just want a bottom pedal. Bonus round is a little bit dicey, but it might be the way that we actually wind up winning. Feels like they're mulliganing. What? They mulligan the three cards. Stop it, OP. Oh no. Just tragedy. Can't believe they didn't scoop. I mean, if they've turned one ninja and then the other ninja that draws them a card, they go back up to four cards. I think I'm gonna come off of the Shatter Skull. Might wind up making use of Blast Zone. It's a multi three is not how we drew it up. <laughs> All right, they do go up to four. Blast Zone. Let's fire this off. If it's double land, that's not good. All right, beta out these. We don't actually have other action at the moment. <laughs> Chrome Mox, what are you doing? Oh, they're playing an actual ninja now. Okay. Here we go. They hit a land. Okay. So they have land plus that thing, so they're done. You're done, OP. So we go three, seven, bonus round. Well, then we can't double bonus round. So we only get two draws off of this. 
We gotta hit some action here. Might actually lose if we don't. Oh shit. It's pretty brutal. We're in big trouble if they find a force. I think they were supposed to Yuriko first. Just to dig dig harder. Trying to get cute. But I mean if they have um Emrakul, then sure. <laughs> no, but they do have a force. Now we know they do. They might get us here. It's a good draw. Oi, oi, oi. So, five, six, three. I got a two if they counter it. Just drawing cards, though. All right, so they're just going to force that. At least it was big enough to bait it out. Now we can probably win next turn. Because now we have bonus round, right of flame is four. Burning wish should go down to two. We can get right of flame and tinkering. Then we get to double right of flame, six. We're, we're golden if they don't find a force. Again, I don't think you should be brainstorming here. I think you attack first, you stack the trigger so that you draw from Yuriko first, and then you get to loot. Then you can brainstorm. And then you dig five cards into your deck. Oh, they get two Yuriko triggers. I wasn't thinking of that. So they might they have potential to just kill us. Hydroblast plus what? Another Yuriko? So we just lose to Hydroblast? I think so. Hmm. Let's try Right of Flame. Yeah. Now even Right of Flame, I don't think, does it. Okay. <laughs> they, they beat us on a mold of three. And they had the Force. On top of it? Wait, didn't they brainstorm? Why didn't they just kill us? Oh, they probably looted into it as the third card. Jeez. That is wild. Wild, wild, wild. Okay. So they can't wait to see how that went from our side. <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We didn't have the strongest hand. We did Mulligan a six, right? Now the excuses start. Now with the excuses. We did. We mulled a six. All right, we'll keep this. It's definitely big being on the play. We could play through days, but then we'd play into Force Will pretty hard. Playing out some ninjas. We're going to use Jessica's will. Nice, because if you use song and they counter that, then your will isn't really a, for, uh, a ritual anymore because they have less cards in hand. Okay, and song again. Now if they force this, we can go ritual, morphos, relay. We let it go. Now we're just golden. I think they're waiting for a big payoff. They're going to be disappointed to see that it's galvanic relay. Ooh. That's one hell of a hit. They just don't have a counter. So we have six. We go for Past and Flames. We still have three for Relay. Can't say the same for Tinkering. Could double Relay. It's too tempting, though. They're just F6. Wow. It's crazy. Let's draw three. This game is over. Over. Okay, make some mana, make some mana. Play Ruby, Rimples, oh, this costs four, whatever, whatever, man, they're going to say GG, <laughs> GG's, they said, yeah, all right, I got a respectable 4-1 there, uh, I mean, that could have very easily been a trophy, right, I don't think I, we kind of punted against Delver, like, maybe the odds are, uh, Pretty bad on a mulligan against them, but keeping a one lander with a mountain. Oh, I mean. All right, where is the list? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same stock list. We saw why having all these confluence in Blast Zone is very good against initiative. Um, you can probably just play the fourth instead of the second Blast Zone. There's not much actual deafening silence, it's mostly Archon of Amiria. Which you want fire your confluence for. So there's that. But I mean, deck felt good. There were uh there were a lot of spots where we just plowed through. You can see why we don't play defense grid, we just play a maximum amount of action and mana. Because we just have these giant spells that are must answer, they're must counter. Right? When you have a handful of spells, you have seething song on the stack, it is a defense grid, basically. 
Even worse, they're gonna die if they let it resolve. Sometimes you just pass the turn with grid. Um, but yeah, I had some fun. Hope you did too, and I'll uh, see you on the next one. Keep storming. Oh, I should say, if you don't know, this deck is under well under $1,000, right? With the City of Traders, I think it's like 900 or something. Maybe a little less now that this is three ley lines, but whatever. It fluctuates around there. If you don't play City, and you don't have to, it's not even necessarily one of the strongest cards in the deck, right? Just play another Mountain. It's fine. Don't play... Um, I always forget the name of the card. The one that you can sacrifice it to make two colorless. Don't play it. Don't do it. Just play a mountain. It's fine. Mountain's good. I honestly it could even be correct. Could even be correct. Okay? This card is clunky a lot of the time. Um, it's just a, a power level trade-off for consistency, uh, you know, pros and cons, consideration type of thing. And that's what we're on here. But... If you don't play it, guess what? The deck is like 700 bucks or something. It is, in legacy terms, quite cheap. And it is very powerful. It's good. It's good. Are there better Storm decks? I think so. But not by much. Like, this deck is really close to the the, the top-tier Storm decks. Um, and it has a lot of strengths to it that the other Storm decks don't have. So depending on your matchups, sometimes it is actually favorable to be playing this deck. So if you want a Storm, you don't have LEDs, you don't have the money, whatever it is, um, and you enjoyed this video, you enjoyed the way this deck works, go get it. You know, Storm off. Um, as for the League, I guess I wanted to mention, uh, they were kind of, I mean, we played against Delver, we played against Initiative, but we played against the Bogles deck, we played against kind of a goofy show-and-tell Hull Breacher deck, um, and then Ninja is not necessarily a top-tier deck at this point. So I, I guess this league was not necessarily indicative of what you'd wind up seeing at, say, a challenge or whatever, but right now the metagame is just gross. It's basically just freaking Delver and Initiative, like, almost full stop. <laughs> like, half of the format. It's gross. But, whatever. I wanted to give that little spiel, because uh, people should know just how cheap this deck is to play. Alright? And the power level that it is at. See you next time.